Look at that. Look at what? It's a goddamn shame. What's a goddamn shame? Damn, man, do I have to spell it out? Come on, man, make it plain. Okay, but listen up. I'm gonna break it down. Let it be broke, motherfucker. Can you dig it? It's done. Accolades, nigga. The accolade excuse. Let's go ahead and break it down. Straighter, yep, the, not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot is the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. Alright, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from crowns. So when you go to the ground, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from crowns. So when you come around, we're here. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the fans. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Accolades. Accolades is somehow the excuse on why someone doesn't have to fight someone else or accolades is somehow the reason why someone deserves more money than someone else wrong wrong accolades is not the reason why someone deserves more than someone else accolades is not the reason why someone should get a fight with someone and someone shouldn't has nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. All the accolades. Those are all votes for motherfuckers who are on payola. <laughs> the, the accolades that fighters get, whoever they are. The accolades that fighters get are voted on. It's a vote. People's votes can be bought. People's votes are bought. People who are voting are part of whatever team they're voting for. Bro, if, if your brother was fighting, are you going to vote against him? No. <laughs> no. What kind of stupid ass shit is that? But we are relying on accolades. Boxing writer associations, fighter of the year, blah, blah, blah. We're relying on that. Knockout of the year is hard to refute. Fighter of the year is. It's very easy. Very easy to refute. Oh yeah, I beat a whole bunch of motherfuckers. And this year I fought five times. I beat everybody. I knocked them all out. In the first, second round. Destroyed them. Five times. All knockout of the year candidates. But they were all fucking bums. Every last one of them. 22 and 95 record. 3 and 780. With 777 knockouts. 777 knockout losses. <laughs> Three wins. No knockouts. 777 knockout losses. 777, 778 um, losses. 778 losses. 777 knockout losses. One win. But I destroyed this motherfucker in the first 30 seconds with a beautiful uh, body shot and an uppercut that sleeps this dude. And then they vote for me. End of the year, I'm fighter of the year. Next year, I'm on the pound pound rankings. Man, if y'all don't get the fuck out of my face, bro, accolades. The only accolade that matters. The only one. 
the only accolade is the accolade that says, okay, we all have a general consensus that this, 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 and that. Those four, five, six fighters are the best fighters in the world in that weight class. They are the best of the best. That four, five, six, or seven. Whatever those, whatever the four, three, two. These right here, these are the absolute best fight. It's going to be more than two. Um, unless you're undisputed already and you beat the top guys already. Unless you've already climbed that tree. You've already beat everybody who they claim is anybody. You beat them already. And then you got undisputed in doing so. Then there is no... That is That accolade is the tops. Josh Taylor's accolade is the top. It gets no better than Josh Taylor's. It gets no better. Josh Taylor fought Everybody who was anybody, if we looked around the whole globe and we said, okay, let's do a general consensus of who are the top fighters at 140, Josh Taylor beat them all. And if he didn't beat them himself, the people he beat, beat them. Facts. His accolade is the only accolade that matters. Josh Taylor's accolade. That's the only one that matters. That's it. All this other shit, oh, well, you know, he won Boxing Writer Association of the Award. Uh, he's won it four or five times. The Boxing Writer Association of the Award. Award. So? And? That, 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 you got fucking five, six motherfuckers who are on the board of the Boxing Writer Association. You got the, the vice president, the president, the senior vice president, whatever. They dick ride you. Of course they're going to vote for you. Of course. Every article they write about you is some peachy king, beautiful ass shit. Of course they're going to say, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and rock with him. Of course, I'm going to, I'm going to I think he's going to win this award. Of course, it's their award. <laughs> the fuck? But you know, oh man, accolades, man, listen. Of course, look at these accolades that he got, these accolades. Man, fuck your accolades, bro. Motherfuck your accolades. It don't mean nothing unless you got them from beating the consensus top guys. There is no conversation. There is no argument. There is no debate over Josh Taylor. None. You don't see nobody no on no side of the, on no side of the pond that they call it the Atlantic. No nowhere on on earth. You don't see anybody saying, "Oh, well this guy if if Josh Taylor would have fought this guy before he became undisputed, if he would have fought that guy, then you know, he would have lost." No, no one is saying that. No one the last bastion of hope to beat that man was Jose Ramirez. That was it. Now, as an undisputed champion, we can say, all right, well, in the future, a fight with this guy or in the future fight with that guy. You can say that. But what you can't do is say there is someone that he didn't fight to get to where he's at. There's someone who he beat that didn't beat someone to get to where he's at. That is the only accolade that matters. No other accolade matters. So, you know, we're talking about, oh, he's Ring Magazine's fighter of the year. So? So what? Oh, well, we have him as pound for pound uh, fighter in the So? So the fuck what? Oh, well, this guy, you know, he he has all the belts, though. He's got all... So? And? How, who did he beat to get him? Because if he beat the right fighters to get them, then undisputed matters. If he did not, if you fought turnips, spinach, beets, tomatoes, rams, hams, lambs, you name it, if you fought that, and then you got undisputed because those guys... Um, were trash and you beat trash, then your undisputed is trash. <laughs> your accolades mean nothing because they can be bought, they can be manipulated, they can be hindered, they can be fluffed up. However you want to slice it, dice it, salt, bait it, sugarcoat it, or salt it. Unless you beat 
the general consensus fighters, the general consensus top fighters, unless you beat all of them, your accolades mean nothing. I can go buy a WBC belt off of Amazon right now. I can go buy a uh, uh, ring magazine belt off of Amazon Amazon right now. I could buy a WBA, WBF, IBO, the NABF, the motherfucking uh, IFBF. I could go get me an Olympic gold, silver, and bronze medal off of Amazon right now. Who did you beat to get it? That makes it worth it. That makes it an accolade. Beating a fucking bum for a belt is like getting a participation trophy. Now, you know what? Let me take back that about the, although I can buy a bronze, gold, or silver off of Amazon. Let me take that back because you don't have a choice of who you're fighting in the Olympics. You don't have a choice. The Olympics, the Olympics matters more than all the other ones. Because you don't have a choice. And it only matters as far as competition level. Because you're not picking nothing. If that motherfucker beat that motherfucker, then you gotta fight that motherfucker. And if you beat that motherfucker, then you gotta fight that motherfucker. Now the judging on that is a whole different story. But the level of competition is not. So I say again, your accolades mean nothing. The only accolade that matters is if you beat the general consensus of who are the top fighters in your division. Then your accolades mean everything. BFTB, shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.